what's up everybody so i'm on tiktok recording this because i didn't feel like doing all the other stuff but i wanted to talk about the wendy williams where's wendy documentary i y'all listen i might be all over the place but i just want to give my thoughts about this documentary it was hard for me to watch it it was like really hard for me to watch this documentary because i feel like after watching this they should not have recorded any of this wendy should not have been doing a documentary wendy should be in some kind of treatment facility or some kind of facility to help her. Wendy is sick. Just remembering Wendy from a couple of years ago. Wendy was healthy looking. She had weight on her. She still looked vibrant. She still looked youthful. She still looked happy. Everything. But now looking at that documentary. what what What's the word I'm looking for? Um, Wendy looked haggardly, like she looked sick. She looked unwell. And I just feel like she should not have done this documentary. And the fact that she thinks that she was going to do a podcast and the fact that her manager, Will, was pressing and pushing her to do a podcast is crazy to me i don't know if he was doing that because of what she wanted to do but i just feel like he should not have been pressing her wendy first of all girl you need to go get some help and then the fact that will and sean felt like there were no health issues going on with wendy when clearly there were some health issues going on she looked sick and I just feel like, you know, with her eyes bulging like that because of her Graves disease, they should not have shown Wendy like that for real. Wendy, when she was well, Wendy was beautiful. Wendy was not an ugly woman at all. And with her, her eyes bulging like that, she looked scary to me. Uh, just her looking sickly she was erratic her behavior was erratic she was mean she was cursing them out she was rude she she was just all over the place at one minute she was nice and sweet the next minute she was crying the third minute she was just cursing people out and it was just too much going on in this documentary that should not have been aired on the air and it's really sad to see. Um, it was just sad to see, to be honest with you. And I know some people feel some type of way about Wendy. And they're saying that this is her karma for talking about people, talking down on black people, doing this, doing that, and all the, of the other. But at the end of the day, she is still human. She is still sick. And I feel like she just needed to have gone to a recovery or a treatment facility instead of doing this documentary she was still drinking um and i'm almost sure that she was sneaking liquor liquor in even though will <laughs> even though will sorry about that y'all even though will supposedly threw away the liquor or whatever but somehow she got liquor somehow she was still drinking the liquor she is an addict and clearly she, you can tell she's an addict um and it's just something about will to me i, I don't know what it is it's something about him that's just a little off in my opinion um and it's just something off about him. I can't put my hand on it right now, but it's something off about Will. I feel like Will and Sean 
the the young lady they're like yes people to wendy um i feel i feel that way i feel like they are yes people i feel like even like on camera they were yes people but i can almost believe that off camera they would definitely give wendy some liquor they would definitely give wendy what she wants just to hush her up right and I, it's just something off about that wheel guy. It's something off about him. I can't put my, my hand on it. But um, it, it was just sad because she, she, she was wanting to see her son. She was missing her son. And to me, it felt like she was her happiest and doing her best when she was with her son. When she was in Florida, she she looked good, even though she may have had her issues, but she looked like she was doing good with her son because her son had her eating vegan food, had her working out, had her going to the beach, and he would not allow her to drink any liquor, period. And she was upset about him not wanting her to drink, but he took all that away from her and she in my opinion was doing better and i do feel like her family loves her and want the best for her even though some people are saying that you know um they they you, they need to watch out for her, them too as well but i don't know and they were saying that they need to watch out for the son too so it's just i don't know i but i do feel like the family really loves wendy and really wants the best for wendy and it, i don't know this this whole documentary should not have been aired seriously it should not have been aired it's just so much to unpack with this documentary so much to unpack with it and it's sad to see that her uh dementia is taking over her aphasia is taking over and they also said that with people with uh dementia they become very mean they become very rude they become very violent when they've not been like that before and to see her help decline like that just that fast clearly it has been declining like steadily steadily and it's it's, it's sad it's just a lot to unpack with this documentary and i'm trying to get all this in within like a certain amount of time but and i might have to make another video but yeah i just wish wendy could get the help that she needs but i don't know if there's any kind of treatment for the aphasia and dementia i don't think so i don't think it is but you know just to see her decline like that is really sad um and I really wish that she can reconnect with her son because I, I feel like her son really loves her. She really loves her son too. And I felt like she was doing the, her best with her son. And, um, yeah, oh my God, I just don't know about that documentary. I don't know. I just feel some type of way about that right now or whatnot, but. Um, I'm trying to remember some other key factors about the documentary. It's just, she just need to get treatment. No podcast, none of that stuff. I know she kept on yelling about she wanted to make money and this and that, but how can you make a podcast when clearly she, she her memory is gone? She cannot function. She cannot concentrate well enough to even do a documentary and she keeps yelling about money she's losing her memory she can't remember anything she couldn't even remember her childhood home she can remember like simple things or whatnot you know it's just i just think that she needs to rest i think that she needs to uh, get her affairs in order and just live life to the fullest because dementia and aphasia is is something that is not treatable and that's what i believe right but anyway y'all what do y'all think about this whole documentary y'all know what y'all gotta do comments down below let me know your thoughts if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel share this video like this video and y'all know what i gotta do